What is going on, friends? Sean Don coming back with a technical analysis. Here we have Logan Trubiano, a 19-year-old hammer thrower, I believe. Uh, last year, his PR was 49 meters from a two turn, so he's trying three turns this year. Wants to get up, up over 50. I'd say that's a sure thing, uh, just based on how progression usually works. So, um, yeah. Excited to help him out. If you yourself are watching this video and you want some online coaching, and go to my website, gripandrip.co, and sign up now. Outdoor season is starting up, and now is the time to sign up. Not the week of your conference championships, your national championships. Now is the time to sign up, all right? So check out my website, gripandrip.co. Go do it. You won't be disappointed. If you are, I'll give you a refund. How about that, all right? Um, I've, had, uh, I've heard many good results from my technical analysis videos, as well as the online coaching, um, many good testimonies. So go check it out. Enough rambling. Let's get into the video, Logan. All right, let's take a look. Your lefty, uh, three turns, and you sent me like five videos, uh, a couple of side views, um, and I think this was the best of the five. It looked kind of the most connected, um, not a hundred percent connected, but the most connected of the three that I saw from the back view. Um, your connection is not bad, um, relatively decent. You're working, turning with the ball pretty well, but the biggest thing is it just looks like you're really leading with kind of your right shoulder. Um, and you're going to see as we go through the video that there's a bend in your left arm, which is just a sign that you're, like I said, your right shoulder is kind of taken over. So, um, let's break it down. So you're starting, um, just maybe a little offset. Maybe a right foot kind of at zero, just to the right of it. Um, and you bring the ball forwards, straight back, um, letting the ball come up on you a little bit, but you're pretty chill with it, pretty patient. And then as you come through this first wind, you can see you kind of bring the arms tight in towards the body. All right, so you got the hands out, extended away from the body here. Keep the hands out and extend it away from the body as you go into this first turn. Uh, it might help to get a little bit of more kind of rotation uh, to this uh, kind of preliminary swing. Like I said, you kind of bring it straight forward and then straight backwards. Um, not a big deal, but it's kind of what you do from here. Like I said, you bring the hands tight in towards the body and you kind of bring it from left to right across the body. Uh, and you can see the ball's really dropping on you, so there's not a lot of ton of uh, tension on the ball yet. There's usually not going to be in this first wind, but um, yeah, just think about keeping the hands out away from the body a little bit more. Because like I said, you just bring them in tight a little bit, and it's when you do that, you're creating tension with the arms to uh, compensate for the lack of tension from the ball. Like I said, we're just in the first one, so this isn't a huge deal, but just food for thought. Keep the hands out away from the body. You want a big orbit, uh, even in that first wind, especially in the second wind, and then as the turn, uh, as the throw goes on. Uh, but you come through zero, turn the body towards zero, and you can see just tension in the arms. Tension in the arms. Arms. If the arms are short, it's no good. Um, then you see you go to open up, and the ball goes behind you, uh, and I guess you really don't do much opening up until the ball gets kind of already past 270 over here, um, but you are opening up eventually, it's just you kind of like open up too far to zero on this first, uh, first wind, going to the first wind, you open up to zero, usually not a fan of that, I like to stay facing more towards uh, 90, maybe, you know, 45. I understand all of this is backwards. So for you, that'd be 270 is over here, 90 is over here, um, like 315. Just, just staying open 45 degrees before zero. Um, cause like I said, you kind of open up a little bit too much. And when you do that, that's just allowing the ball to kind of, uh, disconnect a little bit or allowing you to disconnect from the ball. But you open up pretty well. Um, as you can see, you kind of got that, you're going to step up. So you're very, um, back with that left foot into the circle, which is fine, helps you open up more. Legs look a little stiff, could be a little bit deeper in the legs, a little bit more of an athletic kind of vertical jump sort of position in the legs. Um, and then you can see you getting some connection through the left arm, sorry, right arm, and then kind of uh, swinging the ball through. As you go, as it goes through, you go to step up with it, which is good. You can start to see the ball getting some uh, tension on it now. You can see the wire uh, the angle of the wire, the ball, the hands, the left arm is kind of all in the same uh, plane, same line of force. 
So you're getting some tension in the ball, getting some centripetal force. And then as you go to step up, same sort of thing though. At this point, you kind of open up to zero with the torso, with the shoulders, with the with the hips, with everything's kind of facing zero. Um, and then I, th I like to think as soon as the ball comes through zero, I'm already thinking about opening up my shoulders and turning back to try to connect in a, uh, earlier with the ball. Like I said, you're just kind of hanging out here for a little bit, kind of square at zero, and then you don't really start turning back until the ball gets. Um, we're officially calling this 90 over here, 270 over there, uh, 180, zero, 180 in the sector, zero at where the camera is. But um, yeah, you don't really start turning back until the ball passes 90. And then you can see this uh, right elbow kind of comes high. Both elbows kind of come high over the head. Just kind of like an unstable position. Like I said, combine that with like your straighter legs and it's a little bit uh, iffy. It's uh, not the most stable thing. But you do open up and connect pretty well in this wind. So you're just kind of like opening up too much as the ball goes through zero. And then you do a good job opening up after that. It's just you're kind of squaring up to zero a little bit too much in the winds. Um, but you're getting the ball back, trying to connect early with it. As you can see, as the ball goes through 270, you're starting to settle back and lean back against the ball and sit back against the ball. You can see you really, now you get deep, down deep in the legs. But then you start to see this issue here where you see your right arm kind of coming across your body here, all right? And the left arm is bent, elbows down. And you see that right side really start to lead the whole throw. And you, especially just by looking at the head, by looking at the right shoulder, like I said, that, that right side is kind of leading the whole throw. So if you fix this part of your throw that I'm about to talk about, uh, it'll make a drastic difference in your throw. So up until about here, looks fine. Okay. And then as the ball goes through 270, you got to chill out. All right. You got to chill out that right side, chill out the head, chill out the right side of the body, and then feel this left arm get more extended. You need to feel more push with that left arm, that left hand. Um, push the ball forwards straighten that left arm out and then hold your head hold your body more square to zero and then let the ball get more ahead where like i said you are just always kind of uh ahead of it you're kind of dragging it with that right side especially like i said looking at that left arm bent that left shoulder right right shoulder is up right arm straight coming across the body and you're kind of pulling the ball especially if you get to like right here you can see that right arm coming across the body head looking out towards the sector almost um, so you're just kind of leading the ball in entry. You're kind of pulling it through, dragging it through. Instead of pushing the ball ahead, you're letting the ball get free, pushing that left arm straight. If you held this position right here and you just let the ball get through zero and you stayed more square with it with the upper body, because uh, that's kind of the issue here is your upper body is always ahead of the ball, uh, it would be so much better. But as you go through zero, like I said, you're just leading with that right side. For the most part, hips, lower body, pretty good. Upper body, though, right shoulder's leading. Left arm is bent, no good. Uh, as you go through zero, you can see you kind of turn with the ball pretty well. Like I said, your your basic connection is not bad. It's just this right shoulder is kind of destroying everything. It's kind of setting it all on fire. Um, as the ball goes through 90, you can see that right leg, or left leg, sorry, turning with it pretty well. Um, and then as you go in single support, because that right side is leading so much, that left side is going to come off a little bit late, be a little bit behind the whole throw. So you can see really across the body here with that right arm, looking at the ball sort of, and that right leg, left leg, sorry, is a little bit behind. And you can see you have a ton of separation uh, going into this catch. So that left foot comes down, ball super deep into the sector, but that's kind of a byproduct of pulling so much and dragging the hammer behind you so you catch a lot of tension a lot of separation here which is a good thing but then it's a matter of what do you do with this tension and separation and connection do you let the ball do you transfer it well into the ball do you let the ball get kind of ahead of you do you square up with it do you let the ball get free as it goes around your right side or do you continue to smother it and suffocate it and i think that's kind of what happens based on just a few look throughs of the video and then also just seeing what happens in the first turn um, but pretty solid here like I said, really deep first catch. And then it's just the same thing. It's going to repeat itself. That right side's going to pull open. You can see it kind of coming across the body. Your head's looking out towards 90 degrees while everything else is kind of back at zero. If you ignore the head, this position right here is not bad. Like I said, that left arm 
is still kind of bent. That right arm's really coming across the body. Uh, so you just gotta, like, if you had this position here, like I said, ignoring the head, and you let the ball just get a little bit more square through zero, that'd be good. That'd be great. Um, but you can see that right side kind of pull up and back a little bit. You're turning with the ball pretty, pretty well still with that left leg. But that right side, that head's looking out towards, uh, towards 180 already. The left side's a little bit behind. Right arm's coming across the body. Left arm's a little bit bent. And then with that, as you go to step into the next turn, pretty deep catch. Once again, hips could be a little bit more underneath you. As you can see, it looks like you land kind of flat-footed. Uh, you could be on the ball of the foot more, so you want that toe to come down underneath you a little bit more, have a little bit more shin angle in that left leg. Where, like I said, it looks like you're kind of like course correcting. Your body feels super off balance, so you put that heel down to kind of catch and stabilize. Um, and then you can see that it's just kind of the same thing as the throw goes on. That uh, head turns to the right, that right shoulder pulls, comes across the body. If we look at stability of the right side as it goes through zero, if I put my mouse on your eh, right shoulder, all right, right here, and then we scrub through. You can see it starts to shift back before the ball gets to zero. So you're pulling back too soon. You're not letting the ball get ahead, get get free. Like I said, that upper body's pulling ahead of it right here. And you can see a big time head, torso is kind of pointed in this direction, head's looking towards 90. Let, right, once again, right arm's coming across the body. Same thing, three turns in a row. Um, left arm's a little bit bent. A lot of tension coming through that right shoulder. So if you can figure out how to keep tension with both sides of the body and just not and not just the right side, um, it's going to be pretty pretty solid. Because like I said, when you are turning with the ball, like as you're going through the turns, your lower body's turning with the ball pretty well. It's just that right shoulder is so overactive. Um, and then especially as we get to right here, head's looking out towards 180, right arm's totally across the body, right the ball's back at 90, left arm's bent, and then you go to step in, and your shallowest catch of the three, but not a big deal. Um, not anything that you need to fix in the catch position exactly. Uh, it's more so what's going on in double support before that. So um, you go to catch, and you kind of land. Once again, hips are almost square to zero. Shoulders are kind of like somewhere in between, and balls back at 270. So like it's just, just a lot of uh, tension and separation, but it's like is it the right kind of tension and separation? where it looks, like I said, that right side's coming across the body. So you're kind of dragging it through. This is kind of like reminiscent of technique back in, like I think it was like the 70s, before like Sadiq and Livanov thought about pushing the hammer and getting the ball more ahead. It's kind of old school 70s technique. Like if you look at like when Bondarchuk was actually throwing himself, he was very across the body like this. But you catch. And hips are more or less underneath you. And you have good tension, like I said, separation because you are dragging it, I suppose. Um, and then as you come through on the finish, same sort of thing. Shifting back before the ball gets to zero. Coming across the body big time. Dragging the ball through. And you're extending up on it. Really big extension there. You can see pulling the ball, forcing it along. You can see, even see that left arm is still a little bit bent here. And then you extend out. So like I said, this is your better looking throw. Your other throws were not as good. They weren't terrible. Um, and I think uh, they all kind of had the same issues. Where this was a throw where you managed to move, work with the ball pretty well despite dragging it. Um, whereas the other throws were just not as crisp. Uh, they weren't as connected. Um, and because of that, they did not look as good. They probably did not go as far. But this throw itself is, like I said... Your lower body's turning with it pretty well. It's just that right shoulder's really just dominating the whole throw, trying to fight the hammer. Uh, in the words of Paul Fidek, and he said to me one time in practice, why you fight with hammer? You know, um, it's a very simple statement, and it's the most accurate thing I've ever heard. If you don't fight with the hammer, you work with it, it's so much easier to throw far. So, uh, yeah, just run through one more time. Um, like I said, maybe change up the lines a little bit, and then it's just the big thing is right here in the entry. Use that left arm, push it straight out away from the body, let the ball get ahead, hold the, bo hold the body, hold the head, stay square with the ball, let the ball get more free. Because it's just that right side right in the start of the throw. And then it just kind of continues on as each and every turn continues. That right side just takes over more and more. And then you release. So like throwing 49 from two turns, 
and try goals over 50 this year for three turns. I think it's more than doable. Uh, looking at your technique, you have a lot of potential. Um, I think you can go, you know, 50, 55 this year, if not further. Um, and then, you know, with a few more years of practice and you really work on connection and letting the ball get free and all that stuff, um, you could, you could definitely throw, like you look relatively athletic and you could definitely go 60, 65. Um, and if you become totally obsessed with the event, maybe 70 is a possibility, man. Um, but Hey, you know, it is what it is. You have some things you're doing well, and it's just that right shoulder is kind of taking over. You got to straighten out that left arm and, and work with the ball better. So yeah, Logan, let me know if you have any questions. If anybody else out there would like a technical analysis or any other sort of online coaching, go to my website, grip and rip dot co and sign up now as i explained at the beginning of the video now is the time to sign up not you know two months from now so thank you for watching until next time sean down signing off bye bye